Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Live starts now. TGIF. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to Houston Life. It is Friday, February 25th, 2022. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. By the way, besides Happy Friday, Happy Go Texan, Go Texan day. day. Such a great day, and I love this because I went down memory lane today, but it's, of course, Go Texan Day all across town including our kids. And AJ, you know, had to grab the 10-gallon wow. hat. It's his favorite party trick. Go big or go home. That's what I'm saying. Fantastic. And congrats to all of our trail riders as well. Throughout today's show, by the way, yeah. we'll be sharing some of your Go Texans photos day, or photos rather, so stay tuned for that. Uh, also coming up on Houston Life today, Courtney, we're talking truffles Yum. for date night. Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV is back with all the basics, including how we can use them to take our favorite dishes up a notch. I so love truffles. Plus, we are chatting with the actor playing Carlton in Peacock's modern reboot of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Then, just in time for the rodeo, Joe Sam is learning how to get fitted for the perfect boot. And speaking of the rodeo, Lauren, oh girl, this is a good one coming up today. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm catching up with local country music superstar and Conroe native Parker McCollum. He is chatting all about his big upcoming rodeo Houston performance happening on March 12th. But for now, back over to you guys. Okay, that's a good tease. Before we get into all of that, how about a check of your forecast? Uh, we're going to need it because I know you were out at cook-off last night. I was there this morning. I still have my ski socks on. Justin is in for Frank today, and it's all about the layers, bro. <laughs> well, it, you know what? The trail riders are coming into town. It's cook-off week, so clearly we've either got to have one of two things. we either got to have a downpour, or it's got to feel like it's 20 below. So we'll go with the latter at this point. So it's a perfect cook-off weather, but yeah, it is chilly, guys look at this 39 in College Station we have been scratching to try to get into the mid 40s across Cleveland Bush Airport Hobby downtown down at NRG where the uh, rodeo is you're gonna need layers tonight just be ready for it and in fact this is what it feels like the wind chills got us all feeling like we're in the upper 30s and still low 40s even as you get down to the coast so it's just one of those uh, nights where you definitely need to bundle up as you said Courtney that's for sure thankfully we're not seeing a whole lot of rain out there most of the rain that we're picking up on the exact track radar is just thickening up the cloud cover. It's out there. So not only that, but we've got the second weekend of Mardi Gras down in Galveston live on KPRC 2 tomorrow night at 630 to 8. The Knights of Momus Parade. Christine Noel, Daniela Guzman are going to be there. It will be chilly as you saw and certainly cold for cook-off. We're going to talk more about that coming up at 3.30. Uh, but those ski socks, I think, Court is a very good idea. You not only need that. I saw some of the uh, cook-off teams last night. I was talking to Anthony Giannis, who was there. They had hats, they had gloves, and they just yeah. take it off to try the barbecue real quick, see if it was good, and then put it right back on. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got to cover up. It was chilly. I did have a base layer of thermal underwear, Justin, so that's my advice to anyone going out the next couple nights. But it was such a good time. So. Our move, sir. Justin, we'll see you in just a bit. And as Justin just mentioned, it is time to let the good times roll right. down on the island. Celebrations are underway for Mardi Gras Galveston. Click to Houston.com has your complete guide to all the festivities coming up. Yeah, we got our beads on. And tomorrow, Joe Sam will be in the crowd helping us cover the big Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade. It's Galveston's largest parade and features elaborate floats, marching bands, bead throwing, and of course, nonstop energy. Oh, yeah. And if you can't make it to the seawall, you can watch all the fun right here on KPRC2 starting at 6.30 p.m. on Saturday. And here's a sneak peek of Frank Billingsley's tour of Tillman Fertitta's new boat. It's called the Boardwalk for Fertitta docking this $150 million yacht at wow. Pier 21 in Galveston is really special to him. And you can hear all about it tomorrow night during Frank's full interview. She's wow. a beauty. Did you say $150 million? Mm -hmm. It is beautiful indeed. All right, still to come, Mardi Gras, as we've mentioned again, <laughs> is happening this weekend. Also, the rodeo officially starts on Monday. From the food to the parade, we're chatting about what to expect as rodeo returns turns for this 90th anniversary. Houston Life is back in two minutes.
Welcome back to Houston Life at 3.06 p.m. So I missed you yesterday. I missed you. I was not in studio. I was out at the first day of cook-off. It's a fantastic event. And one of my favorite events uh, you probably saw right here on Houston Life. It's the Reliant Rodeo Roundup. So we got there uh, just before 3. And essentially, I put together a team, some of my friends, and we did a little cooking. We had to cook a side dish and a cocktail uh, that paired well with barbecue. And uh, it turns out... We took home the big prize, $5,000. We won awesome. Best in Show for Charity, the Adopt-A-School program uh, with Pro Unitas. So we were very excited about that. Gata, Michaela, Brandon, Whitney. And then, of course, we had to stay and enjoy some barbecue. So uh, the rest of the night, we had a good time. Yeah, so I ended up there um, this morning at 8.15 to check in for Judge's Table. This is the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Junior Cook off. This is the second annual that they've done. Of course, they didn't do it last year, but the, there are 35 teams, all sponsored by one of the cook off teams, but the kids are between the ages of eight and 13. They have to cook a ribeye and uh, they can have some sides on there as well, but they were judged on the appearance of the plate once it came to us. Um, some of the smallest cookers there oh, as so well. Bundled up. And yeah. I will tell you, it is really incredible. They did everything themselves. The ribeyes actually came from um, the livestock show and rodeo. So they were steers that were purchased. And so that's what those kids got to cook with today. And the first place winner uh, went to Vince Martinez with Metro uh, Texan 3, the, the Midnight Mavericks. He was sponsored by them. And right. it was incredible. I have to tell you, the plated, some of the grill markings on these things, it was Awesome. Perfection. Yes, so good. Okay, very nice. I'm glad you got out there today. It's really I can fun. smell barbecue on you. Uh, it's my cologne. <laughs> it's a new cologne. <laughs> well, as we mentioned, in honor of Go Texan Day, we asked you to share pics of your best rodeo wear on our Houston Life Facebook page. And Sherry Newman uh, writes in a Facebook comment here. My grandson has waited all week to wear his new cowboy hat to school. Look at how cute he is. Oh, my gosh. This little cowboy has my heart. Indeed. Lamberto Inojosa wrote, my handsome oh. boy, Cazador. I love that. The Adorable. pup in on the action. I love how he's just wearing it. It's so great. Teddy Miller Castillo writes in from Facebook, Lottie and Caroline, let's rodeo. Looking good, girls. Looking fantastic. We want to see your Go Texan Day picks, so visit our Houston Life Facebook page and share some of yours. So we're super excited, of course, for all the concert lineup, and everything's going to begin next week. And this lineup this year, I think, is something for, for everyone. everyone. I was really looking forward to Ricky Martin. We were just chatting about this, who's coming uh, in town next Friday. Um, I can't go because I have a school function that evening. So Well, I'll go in, in your place. How Thank about that? You. Well, Marin Morris, you and I are going to check out. We also, are? for King and Country, the duo, the brothers, yeah. Joel and Luke, Luke Smallwood, uh, they're going to make an appearance on Houston Life next week. So I'm really excited not only to chat with them, but to go to the concert. Absolutely. I'm going uh, girls' night to see uh, Keith Urban, Gwen Stefani. So I'm really excited about that. Lots of great stuff. Let us know who you're excited to see as well. Can I come to a girls' night? Yeah, why not? Oh, okay, perfect. You heard it here. It's on the record. Speaking of concerts, how about a sneak peek of what's to come from one of country music's biggest superstars? That is right. Conroe native Parker McCollum will play at the rodeo on March 12th. And Lauren Kelly caught up with him as he prepares for one of the biggest shows of his career. Lauren, this was a big one for you, too. I was so excited just to walk into NRG Stadium with Parker. He is coming home, y'all. And now with multiple albums and plenty of hit singles under his belt, Parker couldn't be more excited to return to Houston to play one of the biggest shows of his career to date, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Stage is not yet set up, but on March 12th, it is going to be Parker McCollum Day, and he's here joining us live now. How you doing? We are so excited for you, Parker. You have the best story as a Texas native, a Conroe native. For Houston Life viewers who really don't know a lot about you, why don't you just tell us how everything got started? Oh, gosh, I don't even know. I mean, um, I grew up in Conroe, Texas. I went to high school in the Woodlands. Uh, my family been in Montgomery County a long, long time. Over a century now, I think. Oh. My older brother Tyler was writing songs when he was a kid, and I was just a little brother wanting to do what big brother was doing. So high school kind of started playing guitar, trying to write songs. And I'd seen, you know, I'd been in love with country music since I was a little kid. I saw Pat Green sell out the rodeo when I was like 
I don't know, 11 years old probably. Uh, and I can remember it so vividly, just thinking that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen in my whole life. So ACM nominations, you're playing the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Like, do you remember that time you very first heard your song on the radio though? Like, what is that moment like? Uh, I remember that very well. I was in Austin, Texas. Coke FM uh, was supposed to, had told me they were gonna play a song I'd put out called Highway when I was like 20 years old, 21 years old. Um, and I told my family, I said, you know, they're going to play my song on the radio. So everybody got on you know, their website and play it on the internet. All over Carnival, all my family was listening to it all day and they never played it. And so I just, the next day, of course, I was still listening, you know, and everybody, they were over it by then. No one, no one in the family was listening. I was by myself in my truck and it came on. And, uh, and I was, I, nobody answered the phone. I called everybody. I was like, you're not going to believe it. They actually played it. Oh, but that's, yeah, I remember that like it was yesterday. That was, that's probably the best feeling in the world. Well, Gold Chain Cowboy is the album that everybody knows and loves. But, you know, as far as playing the rodeo, how do you kind of practice and gear up for, for playing this stage? Um, you know, this, will, this is certainly the biggest venue I think I've, I don't think I've ever played for 70,000 people. It'll certainly be, um, I, I never get nervous. I never, ever get nervous. But I mean, when it's something like this that means so much and you've been thinking about it for as long as I've been thinking about it, it's, I'll be nervous, no doubt. Well, we cannot wait to watch you on that stage that's literally getting built right now. March 12th, right here, Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. It's their 90th anniversary, which is super, that's super cool, good too. RodeoHouston.com for all the tickets and information on Parker's show. All right, <clears throat> I've been working on this. Your pity call. Yeah, you might have no, to get no, up. No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you might have to get up there. That's without the reverb. I'm going to leave that to the professional no, Parker. No, that was good. You might Thank have to get you. up there now. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank and you. Uh, we'll see you guys at the show. Of course, playing Rodeo Houston is a dream come true for any musician, but the fact that Parker will be doing it right here at home makes it that much more special. And for more of my fun chat with Parker and a link to get tickets to his almost show, uh, sold out Rodeo Houston performance on March 12th, log on to HoustonLife.tv. Now, we were just talking about the first time that he heard a song on the yeah. radio. He said he was listening for like 24 hours. And, you know, coming from the radio side, I had to apologize. You know, I was like, I'm sorry on behalf of all of my friends in the radio business. They probably had a couple of requests in front of that, but they eventually got to you. And then look at look what you waited for. Your superstar. I'm yeah. just the nicest person, and I'm so excited to see his his success. He's it. easy on the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, how tall is he? I think he's like six foot three or six foot four. I mean, super tall gold chain cowboy. Yeah, mm -hmm. very handsome too. Yeah. Great yeah. job, Lauren. Thank you, guys. Something tells me you're both going to be shopping for gold <laughs> chains later. What? That brings us to today's question of the day. What do you look forward to most at the rodeo? We already have some nice responses coming in from our Facebook page. Nan writes in, the actual rodeo. The cowboys yes. and cowgirls doing their thing. That is so true, and I think it's great to like get there into the arena right at six. I do, and I love the calf scramble. It's one of my favorite events as well. Andrea writes in, mutton busting. Gotta love it. Seeing all the little ones riding the sheep and holding on for their dear lives. Mm. Smiles on their faces are so cute. And the, by the way, the girls really kill it. On they that really event. kill They're not always smiling. Some of them are crying. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're smiling. Erica writes in all the fried food. Oh, you know, the yes. fried Oreo. I had never had a fried Oreo what? until the carnival. Oh, I think you meant until oh, now. Oh, well now it's my go-to. It's my first stop every That's year. That's all I'm thinking about. Do I want a funnel cake or a fried Twinkie? How about both? Mm-hmm. Immediately. Head over to the Houston Life Facebook page. Join the conversation. We're going to share more of those comments a little bit later on. You can have like fried butter. You can get fried anything. Yeah. Right. It's you can deep fry better. your rodeo ticket if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that sounds that good. Sounds no calories delicious. in that. Oh, don't try that at home, please. <laughs> All right. And speaking of the rodeo, Joe Sam has a way you can step out in style this year. Hey, Joe. Hey Lauren, so you know this is going to be my first rodeo. I already have the hat ready to go, but I still have to get the top and the jeans as well as the boots. I have to get all of that to be working together, but you know what? I'm at the perfect place to get it all. We're at the Boot Barn Perlin location. You can already see they have a lot of men's clothing in here as well as women's clothing, and I have Faith here with me. You are also going to be celebrating your first year at the rodeo, right? Yes, this is my first year at the rodeo as well with the Houston market, so I'm really excited. And actually, this is the first year that this 
this store has been open as well. Yeah, there we go. So let's talk about those specials because I know a lot of people are ready to come and get them. What do we have? So we've got lots of stuff going on right now. So we have um, several of our ladies' boots, our men's boots, $20 off. Yeah. And if you're looking for those exotics, come down and see us. We've got some exclusive brands that are $50 off right now. Uh, ladies' dresses, 20% off, as well as graphic tees for ladies. And then if you're looking for some men's jeans, come on down because everything that's $50 or more, it's buy two, save 20. Oh, I mean, those are some really good deals. Faith, don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to be getting fitted for our own boot, right? Absolutely. And this is something special that they're doing here as well. You can come on down. They will fit you for the perfect boot. We're going to be doing that a little bit later on here at the Boot Barn. But for right now, we got to go and check out some more of these deals, right? Fantastic. Let's take a look. We'll get you dressed head to toe for the rodeo. Let's do it. All right. We're going to send things back to you guys. Oh, and I'm looking good a little bit. We got we got half of the, half of the outfit. <laughs> we'll be right back with much more Houston Life after a quick break. Well, welcome back here to Houston Life. You know, we are in boot heaven right now, getting ready for the rodeo. We're at Boot Born, the Pearl and location, and we're getting ready to get size for the perfect boot. And I have Faith here with me, the store manager, to do it for me. You guys do this for every single person that's coming in here to get every their boots. Single, every single customer. We have a lot of people that come in and visit us and are brand new to boots, and we'll get you fitted properly. And I am pretty brand new to boots. I don't have a pair of my own at all, so this is going to be perfect for me. Perfect. What do we do for it? So we are definitely going to use our branding device down here on the floor um, for us. We are going to measure your foot because boots don't fit like tennis shoes. So we're going to get you all measured up. All right, let's go ahead and get that done. I already took off my shoes for you. Hopefully you don't get hit in the face with any whip. I tried to air it out before I did, so. No, it is all good. Okay, all right. so I'm going to have you put the other foot in here for me. Okay. So, and then all the way heel back. Okay. So in a boot, we actually measure to the ball of your foot here. So I'm going to have you move this over just slightly. Okay. And this is actually what we measure versus your toe length because boots fit quite a bit differently. So it looks like we should be in an 11 and a half, almost 12 for you. Perfect. Oh, perfect. And then width wise, we are in a regular right here for you. So that D width right there. I know perfect. I have some big feet. You don't have to clown me too much right now. <laughs> but we actually did that a little bit earlier. So we have a perfect boot here for me. Yes. And I, is that like some snake scent skin that I see these here? Are. These are brown pythons. So they are actually an exclusive brand for us here at Boot Barn. Um, you can only find those here at Boot Barn. They are our Cody James brand. Ooh, okay. Ooh, sliding right on in. And you know what? I think you did just a great job because they feel so good they're super comfortable i have to move a little move in them okay all right all right <laughs> I absolutely love it. Okay, Faith, you have to tell people how they can come and get this done for themselves so they can be ready to go for the rodeo. What information do we need to know? So come on in. Definitely come visit us. We've got boot experts ready to go, men's, ladies, kids, and we've even got our work boots as well. So if you're needing something a little bit more with a steel toe or composite toe, we have those for you as well. And I'm pretty sure there's a wide selection, not only here in the store, but online as well. What's the website? Bootbarn.com. So definitely check us out on there as well as in-store. And if you can't find it in-store, we'll find it online for you. All right. We're ready to go have a good time at the rodeo. You have to find you the perfect boot pair, too. I know you already have a whole collection of them because you said you're a boot lady. <laughs> I am a boot lady uh, in, in the store and outside. That's what I got on. Exactly. Well, you know what? Who else are boot people? It's Courtney and Derek. You guys, what do you think of my boots so far? You think I'm ready for the rodeo? Absolutely. I'm going to take these for a spin. You, you made a great selection, Joe. They look great on you. Very awesome, nice. Awesome. Happy rodeo, Joe. Don't buy the whole store. <laughs> I know. It's it, You move to Texas and suddenly you have 10 pairs of cowboy boots. Trust me, I know. It happens. Coming up on Houston Life, find out how a local furniture company is making your dream room a reality for less. Plus, we're going to get a check of what's coming up for the news at 4 o'clock, including your forecast and how it could impact your weekend plans. Houston Life is back in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Life on this Friday. Go Texan Day. Courtney and Derek back with you. What a great day. Yeah, and we're glad to have you with us as well. Why don't we get more of your responses to our question of the day. Earlier we asked, what do you look forward to most at Rodeo? Trisha writes in, this year I'm looking forward to Journey. Always looking forward to the Llama and Alpaca show as well. They're such sweet animals. They really are. We were talking about that the other day, AJ and I, when the Llama ate one of his shirts one year. Oh no, sometimes they spit too. It happens. But that's okay. That's okay. Valerie 
writes in, donating money to the FFA chapters that walk around selling the programs. That is a great point. Hardest working group of young people today. Amen. Yeah. Great comment there, Valerie. Yeah, very nice. And Jane writes in, the excitement around me, True Texas. Oh, the excitement around me. I getcha. True Texas atmosphere, dressing Western, the chuck wagon races, yes. and of course, the concerts. Very nice. Yeah, those chuck wagon races are pretty intense. Pretty heart stopping sometimes. I know. I'm, you know, I, I love, I love all the moments, you know, mutton busting and all of that, but the, the calf scramble before the concert just really kind of sets the tone for me. I mean, these kids are going after that calf. They're going to raise it. It's, it's just, it's incredible. And we're going to go out to the calf scramble. We are on March 8th. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of that. fun. All right. Let's check in with Keith, Christine, and Justin for what they have coming up at the top of the hour. Happy go Texan. Yeah, you guys. Yes, that's right. To you guys as well. You know, I love, there's not, there's not anything about the rodeo that I don't love, but probably my favorite part is the actual competition. Yes. I love yeah. the bull riding yeah. and the horse and the, all, the roping. The mutton busting. All of it. The, mutton everything. Busting. Yeah, yes. I love it all. Yes. yes, it's all great. Yes. I agree with Cody. I love the calf scramble. That's good. Because I, I, you know, growing up in the Midwest, we had like little tiny rodeos, nothing like <laughs> big ones here. Yes. Um, you know, and my aunt and uncle used to, they used to uh, rodeo like on the semi circuit up in the Dakotas and whatnot. So yeah. I'd watch oh. barrel racing and all that, but oh, I've never man. seen the calf scramble. And I was like, what are they doing? Yeah. And they get to keep it. And I was yeah. like, that just puts a little more skin in the game, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's all good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm just happy it's back. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. And I think that's probably what I'm most excited about is the fact that we're actually being able to celebrate Amen. it again. And speaking of celebrating, we have a whole lot going on this weekend, Justin. <laughs> we got a ton. To talk about. Yeah, we got a ton going on this weekend. And as I said at the top of the show, if it's cold, if it's dreary, like you see behind me here, it must be rodeo cook-off week, right? Because that seems to be what we've been in the pattern. And that'll be the case. It's chilly out there, gang. Look at this. 45, 46, 47. Ooh, balmy, 49 down in Galveston as they're getting ready for weekend number two of Mardi Gras. We'll get more into those details here in just a bit. 39, that's actual air temperature out in College Station. Actually saw a little bit of sleep pellets there as you get up into the northern and western Brazos. For the most part, though, it's been fairly quiet. But that north wind's going to continue through the rest of the day. So as you might expect, that 10 to 15 mile an hour wind makes it feel like it's in the mid to upper 30s. So this is why if you are going out to cook off tonight or certainly tomorrow morning for the parade down, downtown, you definitely need to make sure that you've got some layers. Thankfully, though, not much happening on the exact track. Most of this light that we have, maybe some sprinkles done around the coast, just kind of thickening up the cloud cover that's out there. I'll talk a lot more about when that finally gets out of here coming up at 4 o'clock, but first, notice the temperatures do not budge much. We'll likely sit right around the 40s through a good chunk of the evening, so layer up if you're headed on down for cook-off tonight. Those temperatures will not budge. Thankfully, it doesn't look like, uh, Keith Christine, that, that rain's going to be an issue tonight, but tomorrow morning, we will likely see uh, more cold weather, but I promise you when rodeo kicks off next week, mm -hmm. wait till you see the 10-day forecast. We have earned what you will see at 4 o'clock. Okay. Oh, you have, you're wetting our appetite right now. Speaking <laughs> of barbecue and all that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, right. thank you. All right, uh, look now some of the stories that we're working on for our KPRC2 News at 4 with the last, within the last 90 minutes, the CDC rolled out new guidelines on COVID restrictions. It covers masking, social distancing, and avoiding crowds. Houston's only TV health reporter Haley Hernandez is going to take a look at what the guidance is doing and how it is, is expected to change the way local health officials make decisions for our communities. And as we reach the end of American Heart Month, we're tackling dangerous misunderstandings. Which groups are least likely to take problems seriously because they think their risk is lower? And say thank you to your pets, furry, feathery, scaly, any other kind of pet you have. A new study shows they could be boosting your brain power, but there is is a bit of a condition attached. We're going to fill you in coming up. Wow, I'm intrigued. I, well, whatever I haven't the read that one is, yet, so I'm What's the condition? Whatever the condition is, I'm willing to take to keep my Bella. There you yeah. go. So much. That's right. Maybe it's just falling in love. That the condition of falling in love. A bigger heart. Yeah, that's it. There more compassion. Go. That's what we all need, right? A little bit more. I, the amount of kisses I give Oscar in a day. That's <laughs> good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Now, Courtney, is that before or after he's gone through like the dirty sock drawer? Well, before, during, and after. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the Goldens. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you at the top of the hour. Have a good right. one. You too. When you hear the words custom furniture, you might think this approach is very expensive, but at Living Designs Furniture, custom doesn't add up to the cost and complication. Yeah, instead, their team hand makes whatever you want locally to bring your vision to life and also so you can get factory direct savings. 
Living Designs Furniture, Yuval, you have called this operation the best kept secret in Houston, Texas. That's because people can come here. Essentially, you will custom make a piece of furniture for them. It's going to cost them a whole lot less. That's correct. All right. We have a sofa right here next to you. Mm -hmm. You want it custom. For most people, it means I love the style, I don't like the color, and I don't like the textures that I'm looking at when they go to other stores. Here, you have thousands, literally thousands of different fabrics, different colors, different textures, outdoor, indoor, treated, untreated, firm seating, soft seating. We don't charge you anymore. We don't charge you anymore. And you've all, I gotta tell you, I have shopped for furniture a number of times in my life. Never did it even cross my mind that I could do something custom because a lot of people just assume that custom is not affordable. It's not within reach. But you have really made custom furniture within reach. And in fact, people are not just getting exactly what they want, but they're gonna be paying less for a piece of furniture <laughs> that's gonna last a lifetime. That's exactly right. Lifetime equals quality. That's another word no one uses anymore. Quality and comfort. When you buy a piece of furniture here, we're gonna make sure that you understand what your comfort level is. You are six foot tall and if I am next to you five foot five or six foot seven we will never sit on the same piece of furniture in the same comfort level. Why? Because the break of our knee and the distance between our knee to the back of our tush and from the back of our tush to the top of our shoulders is different. That's just the way it is. Different we're body gonna... types. Exactly. The other quality, frames. I guarantee my frames for life. I mean for life. You cannot break my frames because they're made out of solid white oak, red oak, or cypress. Let's talk about custom-made furniture versus reupholstering furniture. Reupholstering is oftentimes way more expensive than even doing a custom build. It's not as simple as just swapping out the fabric. Let me start the answer by this. I will look at the camera. We do not reupholster. We will never reupholster. By the time I take your sofa in here or anyone else that does it properly, very important, that does it properly, fixes your frame, replaces everything on the frame that needs to be replaced, redoes the cushioning, sew it, and upholster it, the time it would take me to do that for your mother's sofa, I will make 10 sofas from scratch wow. to finish. And if it's something that is precious, precious, precious to you, find someone that is an expert at reupholstery. We are not, and they will make you happy. I don't want you to buy a piece of furniture. I want you to buy the right piece of furniture. I want you to buy the piece of furniture that you're gonna endure sitting on and be proud of every single day in your house. You can sit on every piece of furniture in here, you've all, and people can say, you know what, I love that look, but I want that fabric, and I want that texture, and I want it to feel the way this sofa feels. You put all those things they love into one piece of furniture, and bam, you're done. Exactly. We are the best kept secret in the city of Houston when it comes to furniture, and we'll make it for you. And it'll be the best thing you ever bought. From a quality point of view, guaranteed. I have one last question for you. Can you reupholster my sofa? We're gonna go off the air now. Derek, say goodbye. You will never see he him again. He doesn't do reupholstering. That's right. Don't call and ask about that, please. <laughs> do not call and ask about reupholstering. Uh, but they are just a phenomenal shop. Now is the time, by the way, to shop at Living Designs Furniture. Their President's Day sale, Courtney, has been extended. You can get up to 50% off in-stock clearance items. You can also learn more about their flexible payment options by visiting Living Furniture. Uh, livingdesignsfurniture.com. There you go. Livingdesignsfurniture.com or call 713-921-5098. I know you have your eye on a number of things there. I do. Those chairs and that fabric, unbelievable. Okay, guys, I'm really excited about this. After the break, he went from Houston to Bel Air. We are chatting with local actor Ali Sholatin. There he is, who plays Carlton in the new show, executive produced by Will Smith. Pretty cool. Don't go away. Houston Life will be right back. nice cars, a great education. I mean, who wouldn't take that deal? So what are you saying, Carlton? Are you cool with Lil Bingy? Seems like a cool dude. Plus, I've always wanted a brother, but I got y'all. So. 
<laughs> That's a clip of actor Ali Sholaton on the new Peacock drama series, Bel Air, making a lot of buzz. Of course, the reimagining of the popular 90s sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The local rising star is playing the iconic role of Carlton, and he joins us now to chat about this incredible opportunity on the show, executive produced by Will Smith. Ali, it's great to see you. Yo, what's up? Great to see you. Great to be here. You're zooming in from L.A., but we're here in Houston. You're home. Of course, you went to Kinder High School for Performing and Visual Arts. I know Houston holds a very special place in your heart. No, I always say, because, you know, a lot of my friends, they'll say that, oh, you know, oh, I would never do high school again. I hated it. I, my high school experience was so important to me because that, my experience at PVA, sort of turned me into the artist that I am today. You know what I mean? And I was in the old campus. I know since now yeah. they've moved to downtown, but I was there over on Montrose and it was truly, it was the most incredible creative three years of my life because I got in as a sophomore and so it was beautiful. It's really incredible and the fact that you got in, I mean, there's so many stories and so many lives have changed by that campus as well. You're one of them. Okay, I call you a triple threat, Ollie. You're an actor, a singer, a music producer. I went down the rabbit hole. I love your music. Enough of me was, that music video is incredible. But before we dive into this, I just have to ask you this really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, when when you met Will Smith, can I get the full reaction? Can you just do it for me again? Because I think you screamed or squealed or something. Because so I've always been like, yo, I'm so cool. I don't get starstruck. Right. Famous people are just people. And I imagined that when I met Will, it'd be just like a yo was good. You know, nice to meet you. You're cool. I'm cool. I really was like, ah, <laughs> it was very embarrassing. <laughs> but, kind know, of like a dream come true. Funny. Yeah, it was it was just so larger than life to see this man that I grew up watching all of his movies. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the show right now that changed his life and it got the chance to change mine. That's you know, that's so spiritual, and beautiful. I, I freaked out. It's so incredible. Rightfully so. I think the freak out was necessary. Um, of course, you were born in Atlanta, Georgia, moved to Nigeria where you lived until you were 10, which is then when you came here. But what was that experience like for you as a young boy? Um, Nigeria was, it was really, really interesting because I, you know, there, there's this misconception about lots of parts of Africa that it's very rural. You know, I grew up in the city, yeah. um, in Lagos, and uh, it was a really, really cool time. I played outside a lot, and when I actually came to Houston, uh, our family lived in Sugarland, and it felt very because even when when I first moved to Houston, I was outside all the time, and it was only as I grew up that I was like, "Well, I like my computer now." Um, <laughs> and so, but no, my my time in Houston was oh god, I miss Houston so much. It's it's really bad. I need to. I was just back there for Christmas, um, and and I need to come back for for summer because like. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I love the weather. Absolutely. I know it's good for our skin, too. Let's talk about the show. Um, I know that you're playing Carlton, and this is an iconic character. I mean, I'm sure you're just super thrilled to be playing this. Oh, my God. I'm over the moon. <laughs> you know, I, I remember when I first got that audition side, you know, because years ago, um, Morgan had done this trailer. It went viral. It went all over the place. And then Will Smith, you know, had seen it and he contacted Morgan and, you know, turned it into an actual series. And when I found out about that, I had emailed my manager just like, hey, um, there's this thing being done. Would love to be seen for it. Uh, you know, maybe I'll be like a waiter in the back or something or like, a, I don't know, just anything. Um, and then years later, I get the audition for Carlton Banks. Um, but this time, you know, I, I don't know if anyone's seen the show. It's a very, very different Carlton than we are used to. You know, he's got a, he's got some demons that he's, mm -hmm. he's fighting sort of throughout the season. And, you know, I, I think he goes on just this really beautiful, beautiful journey. It's a beautiful story. It's quite edgy. It's beautifully shot. Uh, we're excited to to see it. And listen, excited to get to know you, Ali, too. So next time you're in H-Town, you got to come ring the bell here at Houston Life, okay? Oh, my, you know what? Next time in Houston, I'm coming down to the studio. We're, yes. we're doing a thing. We'll do a musical number. It'll be great. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm holding you to it. We're live on the air, so you can't take that back. It's great to meet you. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to having you live in studio next time. Awesome, awesome. See you then.
Congratulations on all the success. Bel Air is streaming now only on Peacock. New episodes are released every Thursday. Do yourself a favor, go watch it. It is so good. If you'd like more information, click on the Scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Well, so now that you have a new show to binge, why not make it a date night in? Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV can help us all plan a romantic meal at home. Hi, Tangie. Hey. One of my favorite ingredients you're talking about today. That's right. You might say this is a food with pheromones. We're going to celebrate romance with one of the most sought after items in the whole culinary world. We'll explain when we come right back. Busted. I've been eating the truffle fries. <laughs> it's a popular ingredient at many restaurants, but it can be intimidating for the at-home cook. Yeah, we're talking about truffles. From what to buy to easy recipes to try, Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV is here to turn us all into truffle masters in the kitchen. And apologies in advance, these truffle fries used to be twice as full. We ate them okay. during the so break. So good. They're so good, yeah. Those are done out of a freezer fries, too. And you just dress them up with these incredible products. I'll show you what they are. H-E-B uh, has them, and super simple. Okay. Gourmet in an instant. So I know we're in Friday, and you call this a sexy food, Tangie. This is a sexy food. So. You remember uh, pheromones? Yeah. There used to be a perfume you would wear, and they said, you know, the to guys. Attract a mate. Yes, to attract a mate. Well, think of truffles in the same way. They put out these, they're not hormones essentially, but it's kind of like, think of two animals attracted to one another, the hormones, you know. So does that mean I'm, the I, scent. I'm attracted to the truffle? We're attracted <laughs> to the truffle, yes. It's the same principle Sorry. as being attracted to someone else. You get to know their scent and whatnot. You either like it or you don't, maybe. It's something in the oils that our own bodies, they're all unique. Truffles do the same thing. These things are crazy expensive, as yeah. you probably know. Yeah. You're looking at about $2,000 worth of truffles. Oh they are not God. mine. They belong to the Truffle Masters event that's coming up, we'll tell you about here at the end of the segment. But they're an incredibly interesting food. These are the black truffles. Because they are so expensive, the easiest way, I think, to use them is to buy truffle products, right? Okay. So there are two kinds of truffles, white truffles and black truffles. White truffles have a little more of a garlic flavor. Mm -hmm. They still have some of the other flavors, the earthy, oaky, kind of musty, but a little garlic. So they're a little lighter and, and they're more expensive. But the black truffles are very good. So I wanted to start with a classic chef's French creation. This is from one of my very favorite restaurants in Houston, Etois. Lovely restaurant. Uh, lovely restaurant, beautiful French food. Chef Philippe is so darn talented, entire team is. This is a uh, stuffed breeze. It is stuffed with truffle infused mascarpone. Wow. Drizzled with truffle infused honey, and then the black truffles are shaved on top. And, okay. and the shaving is key, right, Tangie? Because they, they pack yes. such a pungent flavor, thin, thin slices. We're very, talking. very thin. The, the, I've cooked with these one time, and it was so stressful because if you leave them out, they will start shrinking and become no flavor, oh. nothing. So you've got to cook with them quickly, and one little shave. Tiny, yeah, that's it. That's all you need. Yeah, because they can be very powerful, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so right. there's your $50 taste. All right, so <laughs> truffle yeah. products, right? So this is one that was really a fun find. One of our producers at Good Taste told me about this. It's okay. called truff sauce. She says it's this hot sauce with truffles. I, was, I thought it sounded horrific. It's actually delicious. Okay. And I found it on Amazon. You know, Central Market may have this. I have no idea. I'm going in. Is this spicy too or no? A little bit of kick, yeah. A little bit? Okay. A little so sweet, a little spicy, and a little bit of truffle. I'm going to get on it in here as well. And Tangie, for, for a lot of people, they oh, typically would buy truffle items like a truffle salt or an oil, yes. or in this I case, have. the hot sauce. Well, this one, this is a really easy way to eat something kind of fun I love and different. That. You can cook with it too. I did too. This I did on too. Eggs, I think would be really good. I did too. Yeah. You guys need wine. Oh, the classic yes, wine do. pairing so. is a Barolo. And always my friends at HEB, this is the wine. It's a very reasonably priced Barolo. Barolo comes from northern Italy in the Piemonte region. It's Nebbiolo and it's the region where truffles are so famous, right? Ah, okay. So when you're pairing foods, I always think food wine, same region, you're gonna do good. And another choice would be a Chardonnay. If you just can't go to the red wine world, okay. do a Chardonnay. This is a beautiful Cour de Charme. It's an incredible producer in Burgundy, classic creamy Chardonnay. 
Lovely. I love that chart. So, Angie, we have about a minute left, so we want to make sure that we get to the okay, rest of the Okay, let's food talk items. about products. So what I've done here, this is a um, pizza, essentially, okay. done on sourdough bread, and it's literally, we've spread burrata on there. Clever idea. Marinated tomatoes, and then you put it in the oven, toast it, and use and a little bit awesome. of truffle oil. Finish it off with a tad of oil. I've got the recipe on uh, goodtaste.tv. There you have it there. And look at that. So the products to use, truffle salt is my favorite because a little truffle goes a long way. You it know? does, yeah, it can be the very oil powerful. can be The oil you've got to just, a drop or two is all you need for me. Um, and the truffle salt. Sabatino is an incredible brand and H-E-B Cooking Connections does carry it, easy to find. And those are the easy fries. We're gonna push them delicious. over to your website for that one too. Yeah, I'm gonna they're need delicious. That information. And Tenji, cool you're also gonna be, yeah, cool and scum for all of the plates The beautiful plates. You're gonna be a judge for the 2022 yeah. Yes. Truffle Masters event, which more information on your website as well? We'll have, yes, we'll have okay. more information on that. It's a week from, I believe it's March 7th, and uh, downtown, incredible event. Chefs from all over the city are there at the Baldwin Hotel. Going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, okay. Tangie. Cheers, Tangie. Thanks. Cheers. We'll watch Good Taste with Tangie Saturday and Sunday mornings right here on KPRC2. Set your DVRs, 5.30 a.m. After the break, it is time to spin and win on our Houston Life prize wheel. And as we head to break, here is a look back at all the fun we had this week on Houston Life. We are both thrilled to be back with you at 3 p.m. We've loved the Olympics like y'all have, but it's so good to be right back here. We had the chance last week to have some of our insiders sign up and do this virtual Zoom chat, Courtney. We offer a hat bar and we have a variety of colors, all of the accessories for you to come in and experience. February uh, 22nd, so it's 2-2-2, 2022. And you're watching Channel 2. Oh, that is perfect. Do you like, like Taco Cabana? Cabana? Yes, I do. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Me, I love Taco Cabana. These white strawberries over here. So it's actually not a strawberry. It's called a pine berry. I Similar just... nutrition profile to a strawberry, but it's a completely different fruit. Oh, very, wow. very interesting. We have some little dental uh, treats we can give to yes. Tex and Charlie. Yes. And this is something that a lot of pet owners, you know, may have seen in this store they can purchase treats that help Tex are you gonna chew on that thing? <laughs> He's literally frozen like a mannequin. And our macaws back here just enjoying life in the rainforest. It's the macaws for sure, right? <laughs> I love that. Who inspires me the most? I know she's not on the wall, but it's my mom. She's very intelligent and loving, and when I grow up, I want to be just like her. It's all about the life and the art of Frida Kahlo, and this is one of those things where you just have to experience it yourself to get the true, full meaning behind some of her greatest works of art. Of course, I have a story to tell you guys about my mom. Whenever I was getting ready to graduate, of course, walking down a procession line, yeah. she saw something that was on my face and she had to take her pictures uh, and she comes and does the, the, the spit on the, uh, uh, on the thumb uh, uh, and then in front of a whole oh, crowd of people. Yes, mom. Like, I love it. And wipes it off her face. All my H-Town people, I love y'all in Houston. You my home. I can't wait to get back. Okay, All right, well, we're just so happy much. that you're bribing our ju the judges out there, yes. too. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It is finally Friday, and the day is about to get even better for one lucky viewer as we spin our Houston Life prize wheel. In case you haven't seen the wheel before, every week we give away prizes like gift cards to Landry's, even $1,000. Today we are spinning for Adrian Acosta, who's joining us live via Zoom on the road in Birmingham, Alabama with mom, right? And niece as well. <laughs> Correct. Well, Hello. welcome to Houston Life. You work as a transporter, big rigs, right? 18-wheelers, so you're on the road all the time. Yes. You can tell the excitement by your face from that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I am tired. I know. We can tell I you're tired. And I know you're traveling back home. And um, shout out to your whole Acosta family. Correct. And the Greer family, yes. Very nice. Well, we're glad you're taking a pit stop to have some rest and to spin the wheel. What do you say we do it? Adrian, ready? Let's do this. Here we go. Big money. And four chances to win $1,000 today. It looks like we're going to be spinning again. All right, here we go. Round two. Mom's excited. 
Okay, you're gonna have a nice meal when you get back in town. You have won gift cards to Landry's for a Ooh. night out. Looks like the niece and mom are excited. Adrian, congrats, how do you feel? Thank you. You are so welcome. Can't wait to have, and our producers will definitely be in touch with you. Be safe traveling home to Texas. Okay. All right, and thanks for watching Houston Life. Have fun. Have a good weekend. And if you would like your chance to spin and win live on our show, all you have to do is join our KPRC2 Insider program. Visit clicktohouston.com slash insider if you would like to sign up. Congratulations to Adrian as well. Coming up Monday on Houston Life, the inspiring story behind Out the Mud, the local black-owned seafood business that caught the attention of celebs like Paul Wall and Bun B. Plus, we are wrapping up Black History Month with a look inside the world-famous Black Black Cowboy Museum in Rosenberg. We're going to learn the origins of the Black Cowboy and why their story is not widely known. Okay, very much looking forward to that. Well, that was a fun week on Houston Life. It was a fun week. I still want more of those truffle fries. I know, me too. Well, you're in luck because half of them, the other half we didn't eat, they are still left. <laughs> well, congratulations to Adrian, our KPRC2 insider who won the Landry's gift cards today on our Houston Life prize wheel. Yeah, and thanks so much for joining us today on the show. If you head out to cook off, remember, bundle up, wear those wool socks, and have a good time. Look at this. Tanchi. You ask and you shall receive. Tanchi Patton. <laughs> We're going to send it on over to Keith and Christine. I don't know. We'd save them for the end of your newscast, but something tells me yes. that's not going to work out. Now, now I'm oh, jealous man. because I want truffle fries and Derek, I want that jacket too. Mm. So, oh, so good. It's yours, Keith. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we need like a little to-go baggie. I know. My and goodness. also we need to borrow your outfits for this weekend. Mardi Gras, rodeo. You guys have, I love all the sequins. That's right. Have fun down in Mardi Gras. Yes. It's going to be a good time. Yes. Thank you. You guys have a great weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.